wasn't up today. I can't speak English apparently, so that's fun. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with my June favorites for 2018. I actually don't have that many things to talk about. I have a lot of movies to talk about so without further ado let us get started. <sighs> the first thing I'm going to talk about is a comedian. Her name is Ali Wong and she is so underrated in my opinion. I don't think she's super popular. I know she was recently on Ellen and that's how a lot of people are coming to know who she is but she has two specials on Netflix and she talks a lot about having a baby and being pregnant and it's just so funny. I definitely recommend checking out her two specials on Netflix because I was giggling up a storm with my mom when I watched them. Next I'm going to talk about a couple of movies that I saw this month which I loved. The first is Tag. It's about this group of five friends who have been playing a game of Tag for 30 years and it it is so funny. It's one of those movies where you don't have to think at all while you're watching it, so it's my cup of tea because I don't like having to try to figure things out while I'm watching a movie. The girl who plays one of the wives, her name is Ilsa Fisher. I think she is so funny and her character is so great in this movie. She made me laugh so hard the entire time. It has a bunch of actors who I just think are really funny. Like Jake Johnson, I think he is hilarious and just every movie that he is in I laugh so hard at so having him in a movie always means that I'll probably like it. The next movie should come to no surprise if you were born in the 90s, but it is The Incredibles 2. We have waited for this movie for 15 years and it has finally arrived and it was everything I wanted and more. Jack-Jack is the best thing in the entire world. I love his character. I just think his character in this movie was so funny and adorable and just he took the whole movie. It was all about him. Let's be serious. Like nobody cares about the other Incredibles. Jack Jack is the one. I just love him so much. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a play that I went to with my mom. She surprised me by taking me to go see The Phantom of the Opera which I had wanted to see for years and years and years and she told me that when it comes to Toronto we would go see it. Finally came to Toronto, finally saw it, it was so good. Half the time I had no idea what was going on, but that's okay because I just liked all the pretty costumes and the music was real good. Masquerade is the best song ever. And I got to sing Think of Me Fondly So Your Girl Was a Happy Camper. So obviously on this channel I have to pick my favorite book of the month and that was The Last Name of Sarah by Kristen Cicerelli. All I'm gonna say is Dragons. It was so good. I loved it so much much. I have a full review if you want to check out my full thoughts, but like, if you haven't read this book, read it. It's also Canadian, so Canada represent. The next thing I'm going to talk about actually is a food product because we know your girl loves food. It is these chocolate caramel balls. It's literally just chocolate covered caramel, but they are so addictive. I can't stop eating them. I had like eight of these bags this month and it's probably very unhealthy for me, which is probably why I just keep gaining weight. But your girl ain't mad about it because they're delicious. The next thing I got from Wish, surprise, surprise, but it is this lip color and it's called Sweet Girl by the company Miss Rose Professional Makeup, but it is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's not like a really in-your-face color, it's very subtle, but it goes on so well. It's so creamy and it stays on all day long. I just love it so much and it doesn't clash with my hair, so win-win situation for me. And then the last two things are jewelry pieces. The first one is this bracelet that I'm wearing. You probably can't see it, but it's a pineapple. My boyfriend Ricardo got it for me because we have this inside joke with my mom about pineapples being like our safe word. If a date is going really bad, then you say pineapple and your mom comes and picks you up and like basically rescues you. I pretty much love anything pineapple. So he found this and he said he thought of me. So he was like, I'm getting it. And now I have it and I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's super simple and cute and it's easy to wear. I've already broken it once, but mother fixed it because she's a little handyman woman whatever. And then the next thing is the necklace that I'm wearing. You probably also cannot see it, but it's the star sign for Scorpio, which is my zodiac sign. And I got my best friend Abby a cancer star sign necklace so that we match because we're like super cute like that. But it was her birthday, so that was one of the presents I got her. And she's like super into astrology. I wear it every day, she wears it every day, and 
I actually really like it, even though I'm not really into astrology. I think it's cute, so. It's from Hot Topic, if any of you guys want to go try to find your own star sign. And now for my favorite part of the video, where I get to lip sync poorly to the songs I love this month. I'm only going to talk about one song because I've just been listening to John Bellion and Taylor Swift a lot, but I've talked about both of them on my channel a million times, so I feel like I should pick other artists. The only other song that I've been listening to this month and jam into is Send My Love to Your Lover by Adele. That's like pretty much the only other song. So without further ado, here it is. That's like Adele's catchiest song in my opinion and it's such like an empowerment song because it's just like fuck you fuck boy and I'm just like yes I love it. Alright guys so those are my favorites for June. I didn't have that many things to talk about for once. I'm sure this video is still going to be like eight minutes long but let me know down below a couple of your favorites for this month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!